Hi, Dana Foreman for Denville Community Media. Welcome to Art in the Park, down here at Hogan's Field. Great way to wrap up the summer. We got some wonderful food from Cafe Du Jour, some beautiful art all around us, and some music to get to accompany us. Let's take a look and explore and see what's going on. The Denville Art Council couldn't have planned a better day for the special event at Hogan's Park on Diamond Spring Road. There were dozens of artists, both local and from surrounding areas, who came together for this art festival to display their creative skills and sell some of their amazing creations. It was great to be on hand to meet and talk with some of these wonderful artists who attended the Art in the Park event while enjoying some great music from Jarris Cook and some other fine musicians. Hi, I'm Sandy and uh, I'm actually from France. So my company is called French Rooted because that's where my roots are from. And I grow flowers, um, unique and delicate flowers, uh, mainly dahlias uh, in Randolph. So my flowers are local and grown with sustaini sustainable practices. Hi, I'm Eric Peterson. Um, my, my little business is Peterson Makes and I make different wood signs, um, keychains, trays, uh, cutting boards, yes, yeah, different wood crafts. Uh, my name's Kathleen Micklin. I'm actually from Denville, uh, born and raised, and uh, my art is something that I found uh, a lot of kind of like meditative uh, in high school and um, I just found that I really liked working with acrylics and kind of liked working with different um, fabric textures and replicating that um, and I've just found that it is something that's very therapeutic for me and I enjoy doing. Hi my name is Mary Shadbolt. I am the owner of Tigerfly Photography. I also own art classes with Mary Shadbolt in downtown Denville and I'm from Denville. Um, my store, so it's an art studio where I teach art ages to, uh, six through adult um, art classes, drawing, painting, photography, sculpture, um, and I'm also a photographer, so that's what I'm having here is my photography. I also have some of my drawings here on display. Hi, my name is Elisa Leiby, and um, we're a mother-daughter team, and this is... I'm Starla Marcello, and we make like these trays out of... Um, all the plates are antique and upcycled glassware that we arrange to make like trays like these. And they're all one piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, you, they're like great for like tea parties and stuff. And uh, we've actually been making these since like I was little, or like my mom has since I was like before I was born. But like once I got older, we <laughs> now we do it, it as a team up. together. Yeah. And they're um, a lot of fun. You can make all different creations, and they're good for cakes and cookies and yeah. tea parties, dinners, lunches. I have like monthly tea parties with some of my friends and I was running out of like <laughs> like fun stuff to put it on so I, that's kind of how we got back into making them but you know now <laughs> we do it together. But, yeah. My name is Julie Jennings and I am the sole proprietor of JJ Pottery Creations which is a studio that I do out of my home. It is stonework clay. Uh, which makes it microwave, dishwasher, and oven safe up to 500 degrees. And everything I make is food safe as well. Hi, I'm Andrea. Um, this is my work. Um, I'm from Sakasana, New Jersey. Um, so this is a, a little bit what I do. I do a lot of collages. Um, I primarily focus on black and white work. Um, I do a lot of collages, paintings, illustration, printmaking, sculptures. I have some fan scenes that I've recently worked, the compilation of all my collages. Um, has some stuff that I worked in the past. And I also, this is also, this is my online magazine on vinyl record collecting. So I'm also showing a lot of the stuff that I write about. Um, so yeah. My name is Marissa Gasparro. I'm from Parsippany, New Jersey. And my business is Fireside Ceramics. I make handmade pottery, both functional and decorative. I have all different kitchenware. I have nesting bowls, 
a set of bowls, ramen bowls, and I also have planters, which are meant for all of your plants with three inch holes. And my biggest sellers are my mushrooms. They are definitely a fan favorite. Happy afternoon. My name is Gerard O'Hare. I'm from down the road in Dover, New Jersey. And the, the store you're looking at, it, 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 it's gotten a bit bigger ever since COVID. You know, uh, sit at home and paint. But um, if you have any questions about any of the paintings, uh, I'm really good at making up stuff that sounds esoteric. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Trisha Kuczynski. I'm from Randolph, New Jersey. And I'm here today with my artwork at Hogan Park. And this is, I was an art teacher for 27 years, so I like to work in a lot of different media. So I have a wide range of things and do a lot of paintings and printmaking. Hi, my name is Arlene Zabala, and I am from Hawthorne, New Jersey. My company is Sagittari Designs. I have been doing art for just a couple of years. I'm a recent retiree, and I focus on pieces for family, landscapes. Um, I paint mainly in oil, oil on canvas, and um, I think everyone should come on out. Hi, I'm Joe Cepeda. Um, this, I just started showing my artwork. I, I was afraid to call it art. <laughs> until a little while ago. Um, I just doodle and doodle and doodle and doodle and, and finally my daughter convinced me to come out and show people. And here I am. And um, I, love, I love what they say about it, about it when they see it. So I keep coming back to shows and, and I love doing it. Um, I call it the Wedgwood Studio. And I'm on um, Instagram and on Etsy. My name is Lena Ala Schwartz. I'm from Mendham, New Jersey, originally from Morristown, so I'm familiar with the area. Uh, I always loved Denville, so I'm very happy to be here today. And um, my artwork, well, I paint what I like. So, and I like a lot of different things, so, um, You'll see landscapes, you'll see buildings, you'll see gardens, you'll see uh, still lifes. Uh, I do like architecture, Joe, so, and I love South Carolina. Wherever I go, Charleston, South Carolina, I have some pictures here. And um, I had some collages here. I love doing collage. This is Loretta. I named them all because I love them all. And this was the view, this is midwinter sunset. That was the view outside my back door two years ago. It was spectacular, took everybody's breath away. Anyway, I love doing art. Uh, I've been doing it full time for about 12 years now. You know, I could always do art, but I had to have a job to earn a living. <laughs> So I did accounting for a while and taxation. <laughs> and when I retired, bam, I, I went to art school and got a degree. Hi, my name is uh, Seth Steven Bechtold. I'm an artist based in Belvedere, New Jersey. Um, what I have here are called, um, they photographs of what I call constructed landscapes. So they're inspired by nature, but I take these photographs of different materials to tell different stories. So everything on this table and on the wall behind us is a photograph of a blanket photographed under the natural sky. Uh, the idea behind that is inspired by the birth of my kids. Uh, I was taking this other work over here um, where I was building these similar landscapes out of post-industrial waste and realizing that the world that I was creating was like negative, scary, post-apocalyptic and I wanted to make something more hopeful. And the idea of the blanket, um, the idea that the blanket provides comfort and a feeling of security to you as a baby, but then that feeling holds on for your whole life. I imagine what that looks like as the entire world. So I started creating this kind of analog world space around that, and I've been photographing it like that ever since. Hi, uh, my name is Nathaniel Cox. I also go by Nate. Uh, this is Nate C Photography. I am a local uh, cityscape and landscape photographer based out of Summit, New Jersey. So I said before, I do cityscapes and landscapes. For this show, I have these two pieces 
Uh, this is one of my more popular landscape pieces called Bamboo Path, which was taken in Japan. This is one of the few abstract pieces that I have, which is called Desert Snowflakes, which was taken in Arizona. So I also have some prints here as well. As I said, I do cityscapes, landscapes. Most of them have an international flavor to it. So I've always liked to travel. So I kind of merged two passions, traveling and photography. And because of that, I turned it into an art kind of side business. So this is the work that I have, and I have a lot more on my website. Hi, my name is Kanika, and I'm an artist and illustrator. And I'm from Denville and I uh, paint in watercolors and colored pencils. So this is some of my uh, paintings, reproductions of my paintings. Uh, only one is an original art because my work is right now in two exhibitions. Uh, and I also make digital collages with Photoshop and watercolor. And I make art merchandise, greeting cards, laptop covers, and uh, stickers for kids' rooms and, and laptops. Um, so, um, I'm, I sh I, I've am i been showing my work into uh, galleries um, and uh, hopefully uh, my dream is to get published in it uh, and become a children's book illustrator. So, uh, and I'm enjoying my time here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Caitlin Lodato. I'm an artist from Denville, New Jersey. I grew up here in Denville and I'm so excited to be part of our first day here having the arts in the park. I enjoy painting the light in landscapes and seascapes. I also do custom orders and pet portraits, and I love pa painting animals that I find in my yard, like the fox and the bear. And um, I also have a show going on at the Art Gallery in Livingston, New Jersey, with fellow Denville artist Tony Paolillo. So be sure to check that out, too. Hi, my name is Vicki Summers. My partner, Sean Baker, and I run Gemtuitive. It's located at 923 Main Street in Booton, New Jersey. We're a sustainability-focused metaphysical shop. For me, that means as an artist that I work primarily with donated and salvaged materials. We're unique in that we create all of our jewelry candles and textiles in-house. For my partner, that means that they source crystals that they know are free from child and slave labor, do not come from conflict zones, and are surface mined. That means no dynamite, because we believe that sustainability means different things to different people in different places. We hope to see you. Hi, uh, my name is Liz Ostendorf. Uh, I own Ellie Lou Ceramics. I'm from Morristown. Uh, I teach ceramics full-time at Morristown High, and I do this as my passion project on the side. I also teach adult classes at Propagate Studio in Stewartsville, and um, pottery is definitely my passion. Um, I'm inspired by nature and things that you find on the floor of the forest, and um, I just really enjoy what I do. And, love to spread love and art to the world. I am Ann Mitchell, it's my wife Elle, and we do live watercolor portraits, painted in minutes. I also have my artistic wares, but I love creating accessible artwork, celebrating female form, and also bringing my style of portraiture to the people. That's what we do. Now what is a great event like this without some great local food from Café du Jour and the Fig in Zaytun? Hi, my name is Suhair Najjar and I am the owner of the Fig in Zaytun. Um, and we are a charcuterie company and we do charcuterie cups for events and we also do grazing tables and cone walls and if you follow us on Instagram you'll see lots of creative things coming up. We also do boards for pickup for girls night, date night, any uh, fun activities <laughs> that you need a board for. Um, and we just launched three weeks ago and um, we're just uh, working out of different spots until we find a permanent per uh, commercial kitchen. So um, we're excited. And you can follow us on Instagram at the Fig and Zaytun. And uh, just see if, if you're interested in anything for any parties, um, just uh, message us or email at suhair at the Fig and Zaytun. So S-U-H-A-I-R at the Fig and Zaytun. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, my name is Christian Galena. I'm the owner for the Short Cafe. Um, my family and I, we actually grew up in Princeton, New Jersey. And that's actually how the idea came up from the Short Cafe, because as I, I was graduating from high school, I started working in a small Belgian shop at Princeton. And that's how I got in love with all like European products and 
crepes and you know croissants and everything. So that's how we came with the idea last year when we actually opened the Jour, uh, bringing to to Denville a little bit of Europe, space of Europe, with ingredients from all over the countries in Europe. Uh, because we we not only to be known as a French coffee, it's all about everywhere. You know, our sandwich menu has different ingredients from going from Membrillo, which is a fruit in Spain, going all the way to Mouvier, which is a wash rind cheese in, in France. So uh, at the end of the day, what we really want to do is we want you guys to come to the Jour, enjoy a nice sandwich, a nice coffee, a nice croissant, and go back in time and just go back to Europe. I had a chance to catch up with some of the people who put in motion this event for Demdo and asked how it all came about. Hi, I am Vicki Harrison. I'm one of the directors of the Denville Arts Council. Um, it's an arts council that started up in April of this year, and um, it's kind of been something that my business partner, Bridget Carucci, and I, we've talked about for years. We want to have music in the park. We want to do art in the park, and we basically just decided we probably don't have time, but we thought we'd just make it happen. So we've got a board, of, like an advisory board that we put together, um, and what we started with was music in the park um, and kind of talked to the mayor, Township of Denville funded it, and um, next summer, uh, we had four performances this past summer, next summer we're going to have six or seven in a row, which will be really fun, um, and that's at Gardner Field. And then um, this art show, just this is the first time we've ever done it, and we couldn't be more pleased with the turnout. Um, it was pretty much Bridget and I pulling it together. Um, now we've gotten a lot of volunteers today, so we're hoping to get more members to help. Um, but we were, I was here yesterday building some panels and laid out the, the area, and for, for our first show, it hasn't been bad. So we got some good feedback from a lot of the longtime artists that do a lot of shows, and um, we're just looking to make it even better next year. Um, we did hook up with Morris Arts. Um, they're in Morristown, and they're kind of a, a countywide group. Um, we did a lot on social media, um, and we there's certain places you can go that's like a call for artists. So got that going on um, and then we actually have a mural going up starting tomorrow in downtown Denville um, that's on the side of Denville Seafood um, she's gonna start you'll see some scaffolding there she's gonna start tomorrow so that'll be really exciting well you, you know after the centennial the centennial year we had a band concerts uh, and, and I wanted to uh, uh, continue it and, and it just could get the volunteers to do it the years passed by, and then one day, Vicki uh, Harrison, Bridget Caruso, asked me if they could meet with me. They sat down, we had a talk. They said they wanted to do a band concert in the Art in the Park and start uh, art, the uh, Denver Arts Council. And I said, this is a home run for our community. And uh, this past summer, they did four different band concerts at Gardner Field, and today's Art in the Park. And they couldn't ask for a beautiful, more beautiful day and uh, people are having a great time. Hats off to all those volunteers who helped the Denver Arts Council in producing the Art in the Park event. We'd like to wish them all the success and hope that this event will continue in the years to come. For Denver Community Media, I'm Dana Foreman. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you around town.